here we are another beautiful day in alaska oh i was supposed to get some work done today but the sun came out it's a beautiful fall day it's a little bit chilly a little bit warm it's about perfect so we thought we'd take some time off and we're gonna try to hit o'malley peak today it says it's a seven seven to eight mile round trip so we'll see when we get there we might get some extra stuff done too but it's just stunning out here today there are five different routes up to o'malley peak and the easiest starting point for all of these routes will be at the Glen Alps Trailhead. Little stream, Maddie stopped for a drink. The route we're taking today will be the Ballfield Northwest Gully going up and the complete west ridge on our way down. O'Malley Peak stands at 5,150 feet. You're starting at the parking lot at just over 2,000 feet, which gives you 3,293 feet of elevation gain. Your approximate distance and mileage, depending on your route you're taking, will be between seven and eight miles round trip. Never been up here before. Yeah. I think that peak right in front of us is O'Malley Peak. I'm not for certain. We'll be there here in a little bit and check the GPS and find out for sure. But there's a trail right there. We're going to run along that trail and follow it up to O'Malley. And then there's another trail that runs the ridge line. We're going to come down that way. So that is the plan. And you know how plans go. O'Malley Peak picked up its name from O'Malley Road, a long straight road in South Anchorage that heads straight for the peak. O'Malley Road, in turn, is named for James Doc O'Malley, who owned property on the Anchorage hillside in the early days. Okay, so the first peak we looked at in the beginning, the snowy peak far off in the distance. Uh, I'm right next to it now and I'm checking my GPS. So apparently O'Malley Peak is farther behind it, which is even better. We like farther behind it. So, but we'll be on top of that peak on the way back. I don't know how much snow is up there. The, uh, I didn't bring my micro spikes today and the uh, snow down here is pretty hard and slippery. So we'll see what the conditions are like for the, the ridge coming back. And uh, we'll see you there. I just come up over the uh, backside here to this gorgeous stunning view. And a body of water there. Doc O'Malley was a beloved family doctor in Anchorage from the 40s to the 70s. So apparently it's normal. I missed a turn back there and uh, a little off course, about a half mile off course, not too bad. But uh, I think we found the way we're supposed to be going now. We're supposed to be going right up the left of that sun there's a the spree hill right there and well, that's where apparently we're supposed to be going up so be there just momentarily back on course doc o'malley was known to be a bit gruff but he doctored a sizable portion of this town the rich the poor those in jail and those on the street drunks and prostitutes even when no one else would all right, made it up that saddle. We're now on the ridge line. And we're heading up right this uh, up behind me here where Maddie is. Uh, the ridge line actually looks decent. We've been on the north side of the mountain, which doesn't get a lot of sun. So the very recent fall snowfall we've gotten over here is all crusty on that side. But on the south facing side, as we've had several nice days in a row, is uh, quite nice. So I think. The ridge line all the way back is definitely going to work, but we're going up that way now. And then we'll re do our return trip, we'll head back this way, and go up that way. Back down to Anchorage. 
Doc O'Malley would take money, berries, or even fish for payment for his services. And he worked every single day of the year, even Christmas. Illness doesn't take a holiday, he liked to say. He also said never trust a doctor who plays golf. Records gathered from November of 2010 until present shows that people from 73 different countries have visited our very own O'Malley Peak. The record for visits on a single day was on May 30th, 2016, where 89 people visited O'Malley Peak. Go, Maddie, go! just left O'Malley Peak and we're heading back a little bit farther um, there's one more peak I think they call it Hidden Peak um, yet again I'm not for sure and, and my wife will correct me in the editing and she'll write it in on the page for you but we'll meet you there in just a moment it'll be uh, just that next peak right there A little view for you. Here we are, Hidden Peak. This will be the farthest back we go today. Getting a little chilly. Uh, we want to get back before sundown. So as you know, sundown Alaska means extremely cold right now. It is October, and uh, we are we are so blessed to have this beautiful sunny weather that we have right now in October so yeah praise the Lord it's giving us a, some beautiful land here so, yeah. it's breathtaking that's all I can say it's breathtaking and I'll give you guys a nice panoramic here There are three lakes nestled within the arms of O'Malley. Black Lake is tucked in between the northeast and northwest ridges. A tiny pothole lake called Deep Lake is sunk into the southeast corner of the feature called the Ball Field. And Hidden Lake is on the south side of the mountain right under Hidden Peak. One of the bonuses of hiking these well-known trails is getting the opportunity to meet other like-minded hikers 
and occasionally you encourage each other through the tough stuff. Well, here we are almost done we just gotta we're back at the saddle we just gotta head down this hill and through the valley and back to the parking lot which is right over there so but we met uh as soon as we got up to uh, uh up to the peak up there there's a group of people up there to greet me it was nice to have my own greeting party uh, four super nice people and we all kind of hiked down together through some of the Slightly difficult terrain, it was fun. So here we are, uh, there's a group of people that uh, that met me at top of O'Malley Peak and it was a, a kind of an awesome welcome, welcoming party, you didn't expect that, it was nice. But uh, we all hiked down together and I just wanna let them introduce themselves and maybe tell us something about themselves if they want to. Uh, here we go. All right. I'm Meg. I'm from Southeast Alaska, and uh, yeah, I've been hiking in Anchorage with these guys. It's a lot of fun. Hey, I'm uh, Richard. Uh, 46, and uh, been up in Alaska for about 24 years. Originally from Oklahoma, and uh, rediscovered hiking this past summer, and it's uh, it's truly saved my life, and uh, uh, it's been amazing. And meeting all these people and all my friends. Thanks. Awesome. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm line to go by Hiker Brian. Um, moved here about a year ago and been hiking like crazy since I got laid off early June. And today I actually marked uh, 1 million vertical feet gained over my lifetime of hiking so far. So I feel pretty good about that. So it was a fun day to be up here with friends and make new friends. Nice. nice. Yeah, such a day to celebrate. I've lived out here for mm, two months and I've already <laughs> done like 50 some trails and a bunch of peaks, but this Definitely is the hardest I've done so far. O'Malley was oh, amazing, so much fun. I loved it. Love you all. <laughs> oh. Much need a drink after a long hike, Maddie. Uh, cool your paws. Awesome. Back at the parking lot. And uh, we went 9.78 miles today. Just beautiful day, beautiful day. The Lord bless us with a beautiful day. There's no wind, just the slightest of breezes up there. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Just a beautiful day and then like i said before we got to the top and um there's four ultra nice people up there to, to greet us and hang out for a while and then come to find out we, we all end up hiking down together um we hiked all the way through all the the rock rock climbing parts and whatnot little technical stuff so they appreciate it i appreciate them um and it's just so nice to just go out and meet beautiful strangers you know we're just we're just so blessed to meet beautiful people and uh, to hear their stories and and learn who they are and learn to learn how, how the Lord's used them you know it's just it's just wonderful but um, yeah this is an awesome day that's a I, I don't I'm speechless right now I don't know what else to say We'll see you at the next hike. <laughs>